my name is Monika Seyfert. I work at the Copenhagen Institute of Interaction Design in the research, and we are one of the partners at the in the VTU project. Our role is to develop tools for ethical reflection while designing any kind of IoT product. And this week we were teaching 20 students from all over the world about designing ethical futures. We showed them kind of like the framework we are building together with Anneli and other partners in VTU and from which we've selected a couple of different um, tools that they could use to develop their project. We use the tools to kind of start the conversation around ethics and to uh, almost state what well, the ethical values they want to uphold in their, in their projects, which ones they are comfortable with kind of uh, abandoning and which ones they want to really keep in their projects and manifest through their concepts. Um, we also kind of uh, allow them to find ethical dilemmas and see where they can come from or what kind of implications they can have in the future. We also use this tool called the Care Map, which was really made to unpack the system they're building and see how different things within that system could um, influence each other and kind of what has a responsibility and what kind of components have responsibility over others to kind of try to see where the problem or an ethical, an ethical dilemma can be located within that system. I think as a student, if you can kind of walk in and understand that this topic is pretty complicated, but you can but it's okay, you can engage with it, and you, there are some resources out there for you to start thinking about it. Um, I think that's really important, because those are the people that go, then continue to come up with a new startup idea, or work for a startup, or work at a big company, who we, knows. We found right? the curious minds of the world ought to be provided with a holistic representation of the past. And this includes giving the story of the good, the bad. So the students the were exploring the future of memory and kind of like all the ethical dilemmas you could think of when um, the memory becomes uh, a currency or um, a memory becomes something that you can embody from another human. It's really like a metaphor. I feel like they work on a project that are kind of like a metaphor of what's happening right now in, in our lives with all the social media and, and the way we're kind of like gathering and storing our memory somewhere that some company is kind of making money out of. So they were pushing that in, up onto some limits into the future to kind of understand what, what, is the, the, what are the boundaries of this kind of systems, um, what are the boundaries of our privacy when it comes to sharing our memory and embodying someone else's memories. I think it's um, a very interesting when ethics are driving kind of the design process because you really start, you start questioning yourself, should I really design it that way and should I really make this kind of decision and why rather than how I could do it and what is like the simplest way I, I could like uh, develop this kind of situation or this kind of concept. So it's really different. Like if you, it, the conversation with the students we, we had was much more rich. Like immediately on the first day, they were discussing their concepts in terms of like data privacy. 